In this video, we're going to look at comparing two sets of data. Now specifically, what we're looking at is kind of an extension of question three, part C of exercise 4.3 in new QMaths 12A. And what you can see here on the screen is the two data sets from that question in the text reproduced, but I'm extending the question a little to include the spread of the data as well as the center of the data. So let's take a look at what we're gonna do. Question key word in the question to start off with is compare. So we need to end up doing some sort of comparison of these two data sets, data set A and B. And the information that we want to look at is their center and their spread. So some measure of centrality and some measure of spread. Most likely I'm going to go with uh, the mean and the standard deviation here. So boiling it down, first thing we need to do is find the mean of each data set. We also need to find the standard deviation of each set of data so that we can talk about spread. And then finally, we need to make some sort of comparison of those two things. So we've got two kind of mathematical elements here, and the third, which is you know, forming some sort of statement and writing that down. Now we could do steps one and two by hand, but what I'm going to do today on this video is do it using Google Sheets. So we can do that with uh, using some formulas. Uh, and then we'll come back and write down some sort of comparison based on the calculations we find. Okay, so jumping over to my Google Sheet, I've already put in the two sets of data, data set A down this column and data set B, and I've set myself up some cells where I'm going to calculate the mean and the standard deviation. Now we could just go straight for using the average function or the mean function to calculate this, but just to remind ourselves of the formula, let's figure out the mean uh, from, from its formula basically. So we want to sum up all of the data values. So I'm going to use the sum function select all of the data and divide it by the number of data points. Now we could probably just read that straight off the picture here, but I might use another function just to introduce you to that. And that is that we can count how many cells there are in there by using the count function. Okay, so we get a mean of 104 for that first data set. We can do the same thing for the second. Sum of the data values divided by how many data values there are using the count function. We find a mean of 86.7 approximately. Now the standard deviation, I'm going to do the same thing and use the proper formula. Now remember that's the square root of the sum of the data values squared divided by the number of data values minus the mean squared. So what I need to do is actually get the squared values. So I'm going to square each of these. So the cell to the power of two then I'm going to copy that. I don't want to write that 15 times. So I'll copy it down. So that's all of the squared data values. And I'll do the same thing over here as well. If you want to check the formula, let's just have a look at this one and make sure it's squaring 103. We've got D14 squared, row 14, column D. Yeah, it's doing the right thing. So that's our X squareds that we're going to use in our standard deviation calculation. So let's do that now. We're going to have the square root of some stuff, and the stuff is the sum of all of those squared values divided by how many there are, the count. So count those up. Then I want to take away the square of the mean. Now we've already calculated the mean. It's right there. So I'll click on its cell and square it. Close the bracket so we can find the square root we get a standard deviation of about 20.1. I'm going to do the same thing over here. It's equal to the square root of the sum of the squared values divided by the count, how many of them there are, or how many data values, it doesn't matter which one. Take away the mean of this data set squared. So there we have our formula, square root sum of the squared data values divided by how many data values there are, take away the square of the mean. Pop enter, and we get our standard deviation of 33.7 approximately speaking. Okay, so just having a quick look to form our, our comparison, we can see that the mean of set A is, well it's bigger than the mean of set B, so set, data set A looks to be higher or, or greater than set B. The standard deviation is reversed though. Data set B has the bigger standard deviation, so the spread of that data is wider than data set A. So let's jump back and form that into a sentence response now. 
Okay, so I've gone with putting it into two sentences, one to talk about the center and one about the spread. So I've got here that we find that data set A is higher than set B, since its mean is 104 compared with B's mean of 86.7. And data set B is spread more widely than data set A, as indicated by its standard deviation of 33.7 being greater than A's value of 20.1. So we've fulfilled what we need to do there. We've made a comparison between the two data sets, making some sort of statement about which is higher or which is more widely spread, and given a reason for that based on the calculations that we figured out earlier.